This episode of Too Many Spirits is brought to you by Scream 6, only in theaters March 10th. Greetings, let's drink Too Many Spirits while we talk about Too Many Spirits. It's, it's Too, too many, many Spirits! This is a show where we drink our drinks and read your spooky horror stories. This is a special episode of Too Many Spirits brought to you by Scream 6 and also coming to you on April 14th is a brand new season of Too Many Spirits. <laughs> <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> As always, we'll be enjoying a tasty beverage prepared by our cocktail maestro, Stephen Lim. <laughs> I feel like a chopped contestant right now. Why? Because you do look like you're giving a confession. <laughs> you do. <laughs> hey! Whoa. Welcome to Best Cocktail in New York. That's right, we got the best cocktails in New York. The and Big I, Apple! And bartender! Big Apple Steve. Well, he's back, right. ladies and gentlemen. Finally back, baby. He lived there for 300 days. That's 365 right. days. Me, Big Apple. What do you want to order today, Ryan Bagara? What did you want? I, whatever you want to do. The prodigal son has returned. So you want you, I'll tell the you what. house special? I I'll want, take the house special. I then. want something that's gonna make me. Scream! Scream! Oh yeah, I like yeah, that. Baby. Yeah, and so yeah. you know what we'll do today? What? The lead bartender here at. Best cocktail and spirits. Ricky Wayne couldn't make it. He couldn't make it. But he sent me a recipe to use for y'all. Cause he knew you you boys were coming into town. He knew. He knew we were here. You yeah. he knew. And so he sent me out with what we call the Scream Manhattan, otherwise known as Manhattan. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why is it known as that? Because you're screaming Manhattan. Well, let me tell oh. you a little bit about the Scream Manhattan. You got some rye whiskey. Scary! You got some uh, vermouth. Oh! Some, Isn't that bourbon? You got some bitters. You also have a little bit of what we call a little cherry on top. Did I spy some Luxardos? What the hell is a Luxardo? Those are those real fancy cherries. You serious? Oh. My guy, right guy? Those are like... Oh, that's cool. It's like all the joy of a maraschino cherry, except it's like... It's like for fancy people. Hey, we're moving faster. It's New York City. The Oops. pace. All we're right, hustling. Yeah, okay, and we're going. And we're busy. The city. That's we're drinking here. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Got to have a little bit, a little bitty, itty, bitty. But, oh, right. Whiskey. <laughs> it's, Again. Bur it's bourbon. Again. This is whiskey. It's not rye whiskey. <laughs> Why do you keep saying it is? <laughs> because this is the scream in that. Otherwise, no. Oh, you want me to? Yeah. The Manhattan! Oh, really, you gotta really scream. Manhattan! Oh that's, my you know, what god! What I'm talking about, Shane! That's, that's my guy right there. Oh. Alright. So we'll start off with a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Can you move mouth. the cherries, actually? They're getting in the way. Yeah, you, yeah they're taking, hey. they're upstaging here. here so York, what, it's all about showbiz, baby. You know, for a guy who calls himself Big Apple Steve, you sure don't sound like you're from the Big Apple. See, oh, this, yeah. guy? See this guy right here? Oh, you're just oh, referring to your Adam's apple. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, it's okay. the Stevens apple. Can you do a, a New York accent for the rest of this, hey, though? Can you do a New York accent? I am from New York, and so the way you're I speak is You're not fucking from New York. York. That's not even a New York accent. That's a know Brooklyn that accent. It's like a Brooklyn that's accent. A fake Brooklyn accent. Let's hear your fucking okay. Brooklyn accent. Sweet vermouth for the sweetie pies over here. Oh, is this Yeah, sweet. that's right. On the house. This is, this is a sweet vermouth. That's right, it is a sweet vermouth. This is always on the house. We never, okay. Hmm? Where's it going? What, what are you doing? Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, like just that. a sploosh of it. It's a bit too much. <laughs> okay. okay. And now, openly admitted that. We got a little bit of dashing young lads here. So we're gonna put two dashes nice. of our itty bitty He knows his bitters. audience. He knows his audience. What kind of bitters? Classic Angostura. Not gonna lie, I'm just taking this job right now because I need some money. Okay. Hey, For rent. I'm in New York living Here, the dream. In the yeah. I want to be a Broadway star. So I don't really understand what these instructions are from our poor friend Ricky. You got to pay that $10,000 uh, a month dash rent. Of, I think Dash okay. is like a... What? Hey, well, no, wait, wait, wait. What? Oh, that's good. Okay. I was going to say while you Dash if you want to be a Broadway star. Let's let's hear a couple bars. Oh, you know, oh, maybe I'm some Annie. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you got for I'm us? you ask. What do you know, some He's like Funny Girl answer? or something? Or? Hello! Hello! My name is Scream. <laughs> have you and seen Have you seen the Scream films? They're 
there's no character named Scream. Yes, I've seen them all. They're okay. named after me. Okay. Scream and Steven. That's what know. they call you around this office. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> Staplers flying everywhere. And finally, we <laughs> have our rendition. cherry for garnish, but before we do that, we're gonna put some ice in there. And I don't really know how this thing works. Do you think Ghostface is gonna go on Broadway in Scream 6? That'd be sick. That'd dude. be sick as hell. Ghostface has been here to my bar before. Is he famous? I, I gotta tell you, Ghostface, bad dude. Yeah. We love him, folks, don't we? He but he's a bad a, guy. He gave me a good rating on my drink. He gave me 10, he gave me 10 uh, screams. Did he say it was to die for? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, he's yeah. a... He murders people. Yeah, he does, and he has a funny voice. And wait, we, Steven, before before you start mixing, I got a question. We both got questions. Wait, 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 wait. We both Ask got away. questions. Yeah. Do you what? like? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it. What is the quote? What's your favorite? What's your favorite scary yeah. movie? Do you like, Do you like scary like? movies? No, I don't. Hey, okay. hey. Are hey, you, are you scared? What? No, that's not <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ, man. Here we go. What's, What's your, your favorite scary movie? movie? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, if I saw a bartender doing this, I'd probably Hey, hey, hey Ryan. Should we leave? Ryan. <laughs> yes. You want this? No. Catch. Okay. You got it? Sure. Good girl. Uh, one more, one more, one more, one more. Ready? Yep. yep. New York man, how about that show biz? Okay, well. Well, eventually you'll zero in on the target, I suppose. Man, you guys don't understand how hard it's working in New York City, man. <laughs> It's the Jesus grind Christ. getting to uh, you. Sounds like you don't like New York it's City. Been a, it's been a long. Oh. Do you think that's why Ghostface went seen... to New York City? Because he got tired of like the so, small town shit. He wanted to perform like, under the bright like, lights. I miss the seasons. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough life. Out I here. just want a good cup of coffee. <laughs> I miss those brisk winter mornings, <laughs> Sydney. <laughs> the screams in the small towns didn't hit the proper octaves. The bagels are better because of the water. Yeah, that'd be great. He becomes a bagel head. <laughs> he becomes just a fucking hipster. Yeah, he, he takes a bite of the bagel and it's like Anton Ego and Ratatouille. His whole life just becomes clear. And that's our... Manhattan! Not done yet, my son. Oh, fuck, sorry. You didn't let Did him you call me dude. your son? You didn't let him chariot, dude. Here in New York, we have different vernacular for different things that we say. Okay. Let him drop like, your balls in there, and then you could say your Manhattan thing. Oh, how many do you want? I'll take Two. one. Two. Two for big boy Shane over there. Mm, look at that. Look at Daddy long legs. Shiny those are. Yeah, those are glimmering. Glimmering in that central bloop, bloop. park. A couple of bloop bloops. Great. And there you have it. Yes. Your screen. Oh. Going against the a grain. whisper. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. uh, if you haven't noticed, we're in Central Park right now. I don't know what their uh, open uh, open container policy is, but- uh, Two Manhattans never... for the two boys who are sitting here in Manhattan. That's what they call us, the two boys who are sitting here- In Manhattan. Enjoy but it. You gotta scream Manhattan before you drink that. What? Kevin, are you ready? S scream Manhattan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, okay. In unison? Yes, that's One. how we toast. One, two. two. Three. Three. Okay. Scream Six takes place in New York City. It does. The Big Apple. Can you imagine what's gonna happen? I am. This is. Uh, do, do you even need us to tell you to go see this movie? It's the greatest horror franchise of this generation. Mm. The thing with Manhattan's is they are very boozy, and you have to. They just give you a little bit. Yeah, they're boozy, but then the part that isn't boozy, I also don't enjoy. That's. What I think overall it's not a very fun drink. Um, they stink. Uh, let's be honest. Not like the city. The city's beautiful. Manhattan, absolutely they wonderful. De Manhattan town. deserves better. They deserve a better drink. I vote that we we all vote on a new drink to represent Manhattan. You vote that we all vote? Yeah. He You're votes voting. that we all vote. I'm moving it. I'm, I'm setting the motion. I motion to remove Manhattans as the Manhattan drink and nominate a new drink because this shit is not good. Okay, Ryan, rate it. How many screams? Are we giving it screams? Are we doing ghost faces? Decibels? What yeah, happens screams. if you get both get a six on it? Then, then it's scream sixes. Is six our highest rating in this episode? What about that? Oh yeah, out of scale. Yeah, out of scale from well, one to six. Well, then I have to adjust this. Okay, yeah, we're we're adjusting the we're scale. We're adjusting the scale. It's out of six. It's out of six. I give that a three point five. I'm gonna have to give that a one. A scream out of six. No. 
I also wrote, it sucks. I liked it for a Manhattan. Okay. But I didn't like it as a beverage. The theme of all these uh, stories is, uh, you know, home alone type things. Uh, sorry, scream, scream, st uh, stories and scream, you know, hey, you, get breath, calls, you get calls, you get calls when you're home alone, very scary. Yeah. Not home alone like Macaulay Culkin, home alone like scream. <laughs> Our first story is from Siasya Sharudin. What? Siasya. Oh, wow, that's, that's, yeah, that's yeah. actually pretty well pronounced. Back in high school, I was home alone for the night. <gasps> We're off to a very already, scary already start. Already scary. Do you yeah. think any of these people in these stories will get murdered? I would doubt it because they're writing us. That would be that would be pretty rough. Unless we got a story submitted by a ghost. There was a test the next morning, so I was up late studying, and when I finally finished, it was around 3 a.m. Okay. After switching off all the lights and locking my bedroom door, I threw myself onto the bed, and I was out cold. You know, the scariest thing about this story so far is the procrastination. Cramming doesn't work. And, you know, and I'll say that as a lifelong crammer. I crammed to this I day. I was a crammer myself in high school and college. I was I, a big crammer. I'm a crammer. This is my son. This is my son. <laughs> this is my son. SM, he's also a crammer. <laughs> when I woke up the next morning, I lifted up my blanket and looked down. My legs were covered in scratches. What? Almost like claw marks. Maybe she was scratching in her sleep. That's bad. Yeah, I, I sometimes scratch in my sleep. Like? <laughs> no, no, like, like I can't, saying. but like sometimes like my leg itches or something. You don't ever scratch Mari in your sleep, do you? Nah. Okay. Nah. Good. Some of them were still bleeding. Some of them, the blood already dried up. Okay. The scratches were vertical. It almost looked like someone or something was holding onto my leg while climbing up from the end of the bed. Now, we gotta say right off the bat, this does not sound like Ghostface. No, this sounds more like a demon. Ghostface ain't a scratcher. No. Ghostface gonna call you on the phone. Yeah. Gonna ask you about movies, bit of a cinephile. Yeah. Scary guy though. What's your favorite scary movie? Scary person. Yeah. Uh, you never know who Ghostface is. Isn't that the fun of Scream? It's a bit of a whodunit. These are some nice bed sheets. Ghostface is gonna announce the praise. He's gonna call you. Is he texting now? Is he a texter? Might be a text. He did. It. He was a texter in Scream it. Four yeah, and Five. You, he was you, texting. You gotta adjust with the times. You're gonna Ghostface try and out scare here texting. a millennial. You gotta text them. Yeah. Because they're not gonna answer the phone. You think Ghostface slide into DMs? Probably because I'm telling you what. I'm getting enough spam calls as it is. I ain't answering that shit if no. I don't know who it is. No, no, no. At the time, I had no pets. My window was also locked and had grills on them. I even checked for rats and there were none. Okay. That wouldn't happen here in New York, because this place is full of rats. No, it's, it's a, it's a rat-filled city. It's the rat race. It's the rat capital of the world. Is it? I bet you there's more rats per capita. I think actually recently uh, Chicago was announced as having more rats than New York. <laughs> no big deal. Before the panic really sank in, I remembered that I had a test. So I decided to put this matter on hold and get ready for school. <laughs> When I came back home, I figured that, hey, maybe this isn't a big deal after all. Maybe I was the one who scratched myself. So I trimmed all my nails and thought that was that. Nice. Gotta but keep oh, those well manicured. But oh boy, was I wrong. Oh shit. Because the next morning, new scratches appeared. At that point, I knew this wasn't something that I inflicted onto myself. But at the same time, I didn't want to acknowledge it. Smart. I mean, you kind of already acknowledged Ignorance it. is bliss. I kept ignoring this whole thing. I ignored the new scratches that kept popping up every time I slept. Oh my God. And I also didn't tell anyone about it. She's gonna run out of real estate. <laughs> what is that little grin you have on your face? Cause that's the end is that of the story? story? Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, we're rating that one. Uh, out of six for Scream 6. You're not gonna see the new Scream, are you crazy? All your friends are gonna be talking about it. You wanna be left out? I'm gonna give this one three screams. Mm. That's uh, three screams out of six. That's a, a half, it's half, about a half good. That's a half good. Two screams. That's a third good. Scream two. Uh, really good. College. Sarah Michelle Geller. <laughs> really fun. <laughs> scream two gets six screams from me, but this story gets two screams. <laughs> Well, that was wildly confusing and definitely <laughs> worth it. I need to clarify if I'm if I'm giving a scream a six scream score to the six screams. Here's my scores for them: scream one, six screams; scream two, six screams; scream three, six screams; scream four, six screams; scream five, 
six screams. We'll see how scream six stacks up. You're making a mockery of the scale down because now it doesn't mean anything. No, because all the screams are fucking bangers. They so can't means... all be 10 out of 10. They fucking are, you dipshit! 10 out of 10? Shit? That's okay. crazy. Not one is a nine? Not They're all nine. bangers. Not one is a nine. Don't, don't. You're, you're, you're lessening the, the you're value. You're an idiot. You're, you're an you're idiot. You're devaluing the currency No, of I'm 10. not. Right, we got one from Stephanie. Should we read these in the screen pool? Yeah. Yeah. This happened a few times when I lived alone in an old Japanese apartment on the fourth floor. <laughs> Wait, what? Why do I have to emphasize Japan? Are they in Japan? Or is it, there something about the apartment that is innately Japanese? I don't know, man. I'm Japanese. And I guess maybe it, has, maybe it has those like dojo doors. Maybe. Yeah. You know, or in the, and they sit and kneel, like, kneel and eat. I used to do that at my grandma's house, and I would always be like, man, my knees hurt. Can, you, like, can if I have a chair, grandma? <laughs> And she would be like, just smack me and be like, respect tradition. Four being an unlucky number in Japanese, it's as it's pronounced very similar to the word for death. Oh. No one lived on the fourth floor but me. Well, that's kind of baller. Anyway, that's floor that's to yourself. That's a situation, That's a fucking yeah. king situation. That's a, a master master suite. I'd knock down the walls between the other apartments and, and turn it all into my ping pong room. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Someone would ring my doorbell around 9 to 10 p.m. But when I would look through the peephole, all of the lights would be off in the stairwell, and I could see the silhouette of the person but no details. When I asked who it was, they would never answer. Deliveries don't run that late, and I was the only- You're doing good Ghostface here when he starts when to he starts get- When he starts to get excited? Little... <laughs> I'm gonna <got> you. <laughs> I, know, I was ramping it up to him getting very excited. <laughs> Deliveries don't run that late. And I was the only person living on the fourth floor. So it's not like they had the wrong room. This happened four to five times before I told a coworker about it. And she said, don't open the door. It's probably just a crazy local sex cult. Oh, a crazy local. Wait, this was not New York. This is maybe Japan. Oh, or drinks. Yeah, drink I've been drink. taking a shit. We I've been just taking got it told slow we were nursing Because I, I, I did uh, take quite a, a sip at the top and the... Manhattans, if you don't know, these are very potent beverages. We're trying to get our medical degree because we're over here nursing it. <laughs> oh my bro. Oh my god, man. I'm gonna give it four screams. Four screams. Scream four when they introduce Kirby, who shows up in Scream Six, which I'm very excited about. Hayden, she's back, baby. I'm gonna give it five screams. You know we don't have to talk about Scream, the movie franchise. The, the, every I understand, story, but right? I fucking love Scream. And I think this new one is gonna be a scream, baby! Oh, that's good Lillard. That's good Matthew Lillard. Oh, man. Good spooky vibes of being alone. Hey, shut up, man. You know what I mean? Good spooky Fuck vibes you. of being alone on an apartment floor. That's spooky, right? Hey, that's spooky. What is this voice you're doing right now? Do I was. Know? I had a cherry in my Oh, that's what it was. Okay, I had a cherry. yeah, it made you sound like a crazy person. I rub, rub, you rub. You were near, bro. I didn't fuck in apartment, huh? For another story, this one's from Classic Cosplay. I was in my dorm room yeah. alone one night okay. for the first time while my roommate was away visiting her boyfriend. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's sexy. Visiting her boyfriend. <laughs> oh, I'm they sure were they visiting. Were a lot. They were doing yeah, a lot yeah. of visiting. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had a separate room for bunk beds and another for our closets. The closets had motion-activated lights, which shut off after 15 minutes gotcha. of inactivity. I woke up at 3 a.m. to see the motion lights turn on, and a shadowy figure of a man in a hat in the bunk room door frame. Now this is classic sleep paralysis activity. Well, I'm glad you called it out because, I mean, it's a little glaring here. We have someone waking up at 3 a.m. and seeing a hat man. That's true. Isn't the Hat Man a recurring he's a sleep, sleep paralysis dude? He's, he's in the sleep, sleep paralysis, paralysis cinematic he, universe. He is a sleep paralysis demon. Well, he's part of the sleep uh, paralysis Avengers. Yeah, he's in the <laughs> he's in the SPCU. <laughs> <laughs> I was freezing cold and my heart was racing. I watched as he turned around and walked into the main room. I mustered up the courage eventually to grab my heavy flashlight and get ready to knock a bitch out. <laughs> Those mag lights are good, you know. No, They're good. powerful tools, great for illumination. Got some nice lumens in those bad boys, but at the same time, you could really kill a person with a mag light. But 
when I went into the main room, <laughs> yeah. no one was there, and the doors were still locked. Thus was my first experience with the hat. They acknowledge it. They acknowledge that the hat man is a, a figure of lore. Yes, that's right. Um, made an appearance in this person's name. It would be funny if it was just their roommate being like, I went to the late night haberdashery. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of my, my new piece? <laughs> It was Fedora Top Friday. hats are cool, right? Oh, you didn't know about Fedora Friday? <laughs> oh, shit. How many screams out of six do you give that one? I'm gonna give that three screams. Three screams? Three screams. I'm gonna give that one five screams with a little hat. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be a little sneaky. I liked it. It's another case of sleep paralysis, unfortunately, and so none of this happened. It's all baloney, and this person's an absolute imbecile. But... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. But a fun story, um, <laughs> deliciously told. Uh, I had a good time with it. And so I'll litter uh, here in Central Park once more. Nice. Next story. This is the uh, from Bird Love, also on Tumblr. My house has floor to ceiling windows across the whole front. Mm, so humble you... brag. <laughs> so you can see in pretty clearly from the outside. We're also rural, so you can't see out at night at all. It sucks. I'm always afraid I'm gonna see a face looking in at night. Scary. You know that's one of my greatest fears. Well, your great fear is your father. You don't want to see your father in the window. I just don't like seeing a face in the window. Yes. Uh, anyway, one day I was home alone, and I saw a man running up my driveway with an ax. I'm trying to think of a scenario in which he would be up to good. If... Hey, he... you're missing an ax? If it's the country, people do genuinely use axes to chop wood. Yeah, maybe he's like, hey, you, you want a Christmas tree early? I'm sure, gonna go chop, sure, chop sure, it sure. down for you. Yeah. I pretty much accepted death immediately and ran upstairs to hide in my bedroom. After a few minutes of nothing, I peeked out the window and saw him standing in the woods next to my driveway chopping logs with the axe. Hell, we he called it! He was up to good, he was up to good. We called it. Wait, is there more to that? There is. Oh. Apparently, he was one of the neighbors who wanted to use a fallen tree in my yard for firewood. Who runs to go chop logs? Were you that excited to chop wood, Ken? Scared the shit out of me. I would be excited to chop wood. Every time I see people chopping wood it in a looks movie, fun. it looks so much fun. The act of chopping always looks so easy because what you, you start out with a, a wide yolk. Yeah. Is that what they call a yolk? I don't or, know. Or do you choke? You ch a choke? Choke the yolk? You choke the handle. And then as you bring you it slide down, down yeah. it's gotta slide down, and I'm always bad at that motion. I feel like it'll be so much, so much fun. I want to try it. We should try that for some sort of video. I do that. I do that. It looks peaceful. Log chopping. Three, three screams. I'm gonna give that five screams. Five screams? That's right. Three screams for me. I like the misdirection. I like a person running it did, up. I, I would say it did tell a nice story. With an axe. It, it was a story. It was a story. It wasn't just, hey, I saw something. I it think had a hat. Ken's a funny name, too. Ken's a funny name. You don't see a lot, meet a lot of Ken's these days. No. Unless you're in Barbie land. This is from Lady Emily Jones. Ooh, your highness. <laughs> My lady. <laughs> I thought I was home alone. You thought? That's a good start to a story. Yeah. That is good because it immediately fills me with dread. I woke up in the middle of the night to the sound of someone's voice and a creaking of metal. <gasps> Maybe it's the Shredder. <laughs> Master Shredder? <laughs> I grabbed my lightsaber. Okay. I assume they mean like a toy lightsaber or like- I'm guessing they mean a toy lightsaber. Or like the, the really nice expensive ones that people have at like Comic-Con. Still can't imagine that's gonna do much damage, but- I, you know. I have one of those. That's Waste the, the worst thing to, to grab. Because it, it's not going to do much, right? Maybe yeah. the joy of seeing them light the lightsaber up will actually make the person reconsider killing them. Though. That's true. I grab my lightsaber and crawl with fear to the room next door. My mom, who I thought was in a different country at the time, was violently convulsing in her sleep. Jesus Christ! This Sh took a turn! Shaking the bed and yelling, Satan! 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 Okay. I love my Aussie Adams family. Oh, they're Australian. Nice. Let's break this one. Wait, that was the end of the story? Hello. That's the end of the story. <laughs> I give that one six screams. Wow, I give that one four screams. Really? That's right. I loved it. 
Uh, <laughs> mother, wa mother was in bed, <laughs> screaming Satan, Satan, Satan. That is pretty. That funny. doesn't get a six screams out of you. It just, it's, I wish the demon was more creative with what it was saying. I love it. I like it. It's direct and to the point. Satan, Satan, Satan. It's Satan. like a Pokemon. I just, Satan. They can only say their own name. I feel like if I told you, like Jesus Christ, Shane, Stevens, he's he's fucking possessed. You gotta come go. And I take you to Stevens' house. You open the door, and Stevens just yelling, Satan, Satan, Satan. You would die laughing. I would. <laughs> That's why I love this story. <laughs> also, I like that this person was like. I thought I was home alone. Oh, I forgot my mom was home. But also, another zag is that your mom is in bed shaking around and yelling Satan, That's Satan, true. Satan. I guess you're right. A lot of you know what? I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna what are you gonna go with? Where you go? Where's it going? Where's it going? I'm gonna get five screams. Okay. Screen five, very good. Final, Final story! Hello. Oh! <laughs> this comes from Green Bean. Green Bean! I was on a trip with a friend and we went to stay at her uncle's house for a few days for his birthday. Fun. Along with a few other members of her family. Okay. They left me home alone one morning while they went to church. <laughs> okay. Because I ain't all with hashtag daddy Jesus. <laughs> but then an hour in, I heard footsteps from down the hall and a groan. Jesus? So I went to investigate because I wanted to just be done with it and dispel any fear I felt. And then I reached the bathroom and saw an old man, severely old, butt ass naked, peeing in the toilet. Jesus? I guess would Jesus, does he age? Well, I don't know. Well, he's, I've always seen, he's always been kind of middle-aged from what I've seen. 33, l'âge du Christ. The, Wait, what is that? 33, is that what he died? Yeah, that's when he died. He died at 33? 33. Oh, wow. Uh, this sounds like a case of the family not telling this person, hey, heads up, there's an extra geezer around. That's correct. You know? I, 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 I concur. You go to a place, you meet a new family, you're not clocking the whole lineup. You don't know all the Brady squares, you know? No, there I'm might not. be a, a rogue one that you're not paying attention to. And you are now. Yeah. He screamed. I screamed. Turns out they just forgot to wake up Grandpa and also forgot to tell him that I would be around. Anyway. I'm in therapy now. <laughs> you think he turned around while he was peeing? Yeah. And went, oh! Oh, we got a nice whack. <laughs> I like that this story also ended with a scream. That's true. Finally, a story ends with a scream. Well, it's Between a time. person and a naked old man. That's right. I'm gonna give that six screams. Whoa! I give that 5.5 screams. Oh, we almost we got so close. I know. I had my six for this episode. You had your, but uh, I like that it ended in the scream. I did too. I wasn't genuinely scared at any point though because I sort of pieced it together pretty quickly. You That's did. why it's not a full six from me. I think. Yeah, you're right. You know. Yeah, 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 but I I enjoyed it. Well, thank you for joining us for this special episode of Too Many Spirits. Oh, and don't forget to see Scream Six in theaters. I'll be there. Will you? Will you though? Seriously, will you? Yeah. What a boozy Manhattan. We gotta get out of this park. It's getting chilly. It is getting a little Burr. cold. <laughs> My Southern Let's get out of here your skin can't handle Get out of here before Ghostface gets us. He's oh, on that's the right. prowl. I forgot Ooh. he was around. This episode of Too Many Spirits is brought to you by Scream 6, only in theaters March 10th.